Super Mario Brothers on Commodore 64. This has to be a joke, surely. There's no way Super Mario Brothers can run on the Commodore 64. Well, thanks to Zero Page, it can. Now, I'm not sure if Zero Page is an individual or if it's a contingent of people, but whoever it is, they've done a sterling job with this. So first off, you can see we're on my SD to IC FB64, so the file browser. I'm going to select the Super Mario Brothers disk image here, the D64 file. And there you can see a lovely little uh, image of Mario there on the directory. I've cut down the loading time because it does take a few minutes to load the disk. Unfortunately, I don't have a turbo loader. And here we go. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. That looks like a demo scene intro. It looks really awesome. You'll notice it says that it recognizes my Commodore 64 is PAL. So it's going to select the European 50 hertz version of the game or 50 frames per second version. You can also view the artwork in the background, which looks awesome. And you can see I can actually change it to run the 60 hertz or 60 frames per second version if I want to. But given I'm running a PAL Commodore 64, it would make sense to run the 50 frames per second version. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it is Super Mario Brothers running on Commodore 64. And I suck at this game. Big style. That was a big time fail from me. Running straight into the first Goomba that's on the screen. But look at it. It looks, it feels, it plays exactly like Super Mario Brothers on the NES, on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this is being played on the Commodore 64. Now, I thought there'd have to be some sacrifices, but it looks pretty damn good. It sounds pretty damn close to the NES version. There is some slowdown, quite a bit of slowdown, and also the music will slow down, will pop and will crackle and do various other things as well. Because the CPU, I think, in the Commodore 64, it runs slower than the CPU in the NES, from what I can remember reading. They're very similar, I think. The 6510 and 6502, I think they are. They're very similar in the NES and the Commodore 64. But I just can't believe we've got a port of Super Mario Brothers running on the Commodore 64. It just goes to show what that machine is capable of. I'm not, I mean, I remember seeing Mayhem in Monsterland and being blown away by that back in 94, thinking, wow, the Commodore 64 can play a side-scrolling platformer. It can. And not just that, it can play Super Mario Brothers. This is absolutely awesome. I, I, was, I was blown away. Even the way Mario jumps, so if you like the physics of Mario, how he moves, how he jumps, it feels exactly like the NES version. It really, really is good. Now, of course, there is a bit of a reduction in the colour palette because I think the Commodore 64 can't display as many colours on screen as the NES can. So things don't look exactly the same in terms of colours, but they're close enough. They really are close enough. And the game plays pretty much identically to how it does on the NES, plus some additional slowdown that you get. You can see I'm going to do the lane trick of going to the warp zone just to see if the warp zone is here as well, because you never know, it might not be. They may have missed that off. The game is slowing down with the more sprites being on screen at once. It is slowing down. You'll hear the music is also slowing down as well. There's the uh, the little lifts, the little elevators that go up. And indeed, we've got a warp zone. So I can be lame and I can warp to zone 4-1, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Just to show you, we go straight to world 4-1. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. This person or these, these guys, this contingent, are absolute legends. Super Mario Brothers on Commodore 64. I can't believe I'm still sitting here saying this. Absolutely awesome. Hats off to this guy or to these people for making this particular port of, of Super Mario Brothers for the Commodore 64. And I just love the fact that people are still working with these old machines. They're still making things. They're still wowing us, even to this very day. The Commodore 64, at the time of sitting here and me recording this, it's older than me. It's a computer that's been out since 1982. It's 37 years old, and it's still capable of doing things like this. Super Mario Brothers that was released on the NES in 1985. It's absolutely unbelievable, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.